Stop by. I believe that should help you greatly, sir. Is that really you? I be your seventh. He's only a fool. He's mad. is Latin for crow. I've never come across a play with that title before. What do you suppose it's about? In ancient times, the crow was known to be a trickster of sorts, much like the fox. Mask guess oh, this um, way. You know. oh. <laughs> the doors will open shortly. Please don your mask. You dim bloody bastard, come here! I repeat, ladies and gentlemen, this entrance is for masks only. Masks only. I repeat, ladies and gentlemen, this entrance is for masks only. Let us enter the theater for tonight's performance. Let's proceed. Mesdames et Messieurs, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Alhambra Music Hall. Tonight, we have, for one night only, a very special performance of Corvus the Trickster. While some of the effects may be visceral and highly disturbing, do not be alarmed, my good people. Fear not. This is a purest form of entertainment. Tonight's performance immortalizes and is for the benefit of a young fellow very near and dear to my heart. Any concerns or complaints may be addressed to him. <laughs> Jacob, dear boy, tonight is for you.
do you see? I'll be serving you this evening, gentlemen. You're still here, love. Last time, I swear, you nearly poisoned us. Scene two, stand by. Let me out! I need to lower the grip for the show! Yeah. A big round of applause for this brave, brave man. Our volunteer is about to die for you, Jacob. What is he? man to witness this gentleman being fired upon at point blank range. Our performer will hit several targets placed around his head. Exciting, is it not? What made you think that was a good idea? <laughs> Will our honored guest go unharmed? I wonder what he's up to. We British are a hardy bunch. Let's put that hardiness to the test. Got you like a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> 
him off. Yeah, I'll go for a drink. <laughs> 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 We found a suitably flat-headed gentleman for this one. <laughs> you, you laugh, ladies and That's gentlemen, a daisy. but I assure you that it. is the case. I have no doubt that you could hazard a guess as to what this one concerns, my friends. Our courageous participant hasn't even flinched. Standing a few feet away, our performer expertly throws his knives at the apple, slicing it in two. Will he or won't he? surprises us. I am not finished just yet. Stay right where you are and the show will continue shortly. You prefer tragedy to comedy. I knew you had exquisite taste. If he's not wrath, leaves Roth, a strange taste in your mouth, yourself. doesn't it? <laughs> I hope you have enjoyed your evening so far, ladies and gentlemen. I know I have. Now, before our final act, I would like to toast all you brave people who joined us tonight to celebrate life and death. Go on! Toast them! <laughs> Your move, Jacob, my dear! Burn! 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 Baby crow's neck between my thumb and forefinger. Slice to bits the ones you deem innocent. 
keep the world in its divine, manic state. For the same reason, I do anything. Why not? <laughs> Never make it out alive. I'll never make it out alive.
Good as a key if you don't know what locket opens. I dare say Miss Thorne is in the same predicament. Henry, Mr. Green, here, this is it. This matches a casket owned by the Queen, kept in the Tower of London. It's a fortress. I don't suppose you have any friends there. A guardsman? If you can find him once you're inside. I'll talk to you again when I have the shroud. Thank you for your help. Right, yes. Well, good luck. Evie? Lots of guards. Predictable patrol routes. Thorn may already be inside. Better stick to the shadows. chest that matches the key. Find it and bring it to me. Home! Escort to the keys. Halt. Who comes there? Keys! Whose keys? Queen Victoria's keys. Hers! Queen Victoria's keys! And all's well! You're not with the Royal Guard. How many of you are there? Tell me. Let me go. This is treason. Just you wait until I get out. There'll be hell to pay.
I've had enough of you! Is someone out there? Yes, a friend. Oh, that's good. Say, friend, could you get me out? Guards ran off with the keys. See what that noise was. Miss Thorne seems to think the assassins are trying to.
Thank you. It's treason is what it is, and desecration of the chapel. Miss Thorne told me to be grateful they didn't kill me outright. The nerve. She's after an object of great power. She cannot be allowed to steal it. Not the crown jewels. Something much more important. We must stop her. I still have men loyal to me. I'll rally them. Gentlemen, we are facing an enemy we never on? expected. Are Traitors well? in our midst. But this young woman is our ally and she knows their methods. Follow her directions as you would my own. Yes, sir. If the constable says so, then it's our duty. For Queen Victoria! Constable Miller told me what happened. No wonder I couldn't find him. You have my thanks for your help. Take us. Uh -huh. On your way. Escape. Certainly. No, you don't. Hold it. Hold it. Inform me the moment you find anything. 
any witnesses? Fat chance of that. Is there a handle? Two minutes. <laughs> there must be a hidden chamber. Look for a switch, a door, anything. Keep searching. Intruder! You have murdered me after all. But what good will that do you? The Shroud isn't here. You sought a tool of healing in order to extend your own power. Not mine. Ours. You are so short-sighted. You'd hoard power and never use it, when we would better the condition of humanity. I hope you never find the Shroud. You have no idea what it truly can do. Tell me then. <laughs> no.
take this down, then I want it sealed until you receive further orders. Miss Thorne. You supplied me with the means to secure London's future. The city thanks you. The order thanks you. I thank you. But the shroud can only be worn by one. Therefore, I hereby dissolve this partnership. I promise to endow you with an income into your old age. But that is the most I can do. May the father of understanding guide you. Yes, what is it? Miss Thorne, sir. What of her? I'm sorry, sir. She is dead. And the key? Where is the key? There was no key found on her body, sir. The shroud will be mine, even if I have to raise hellfire to do it. Burn the letter. Well, what say you? You're not gonna like it. Now, see here. I am graced with the Abilene family's robust constitution. Two pennies rob in the Bank of England. <laughs> the governor of the bank. I think I might need to sit down. There's no time for that. Bastard's probably deep in the vault by now. However you get in, I don't want to know. Of course. But do you know how I can get in? The bank is designed to protect England's gold reserves. A fortress, guarded under lock and key. There is the bank manager, Mr. Osborne. Only he is allowed free access to the vault. You can spot him near the entrance. And, oh yes, one man keeps a close watch on the vault door. He watches it like a hawk. If he sees you, he's sure to seal it. The guard captain, Gus Howard, knows Tupini well. He is in on this, I'm certain. Mr. Fry, please use discretion. The only way to implicate Tupini is to catch him in the act. Do not jeopardize him. No big displays. This 
is the Bank of England. If you encounter any trouble, I'll be in the atrium. In disguise. Tupini won't be leaving that vault. Fitting for two pennies, too.
You've stolen your last shilling from the people of London. Those animals squander their savings. We are the experts in investment. Nothing would be built or improved. Nothing would rise above the muck without our hand guiding. No creating the future. They benefit as much as they're worth. It is their city, not yours. Without our investments, there would be no city. For the path of the dead. Thank you. 
was saved. Arrest them all oh. for robbing the people oh. of England. The Bank of England is closed until further notice. The currency, a laughing stock. Inflation out of control, Tupany brutally murdered. And yet Parliament does nothing. The bill will be defeated, sir. That buffoon Israeli shall be taken care of. It has been arranged, upon my honor. Your honor carries little weight. How dare you, sir! The poor people of this city have suffered enough. Today I granted a significant rise to my staff in order to counter inflation. What? I would supply all of London if I could. Meanwhile, you sit in your club and wax poetic with promises your honor cannot pay. Your family's fortune, however. I wonder what they would offer to keep your record out of the newspapers. About the same as Disraeli would offer for your balls, I wager. But let's be generous. Why limit ourselves to one or the other? And we can have it all. What say you, sir? <laughs> Shall I come collect? No more dallying. The halls of Parliament must be free to govern. Again! Understood? You may see yourself out. Miss Fry, I brought some books. I hope I'm not intruding by being here. Quite the contrary. It's nice to have the company. A herbarium? Are you collecting flowers for someone? Only myself. I'm told it's something of a British pastime. Did you know, they all have symbolic meanings. I had heard something of the sort. Of course you have. Unfortunately, I have no time to fill the book. I could collect some samples. If you would accept my help. I would appreciate that. Thank you, Miss Fry. I was just thinking about father. Mignonette, your qualities surpass your charms. 
I'm not entirely sure that's meant as a compliment. Love in a Mist. That's a pretty name. Alternatively called Devil in a Bush. <laughs> Narcissus. Self-love. I should buy a bouquet for Jacob. <laughs> Most unkind, Miss Fry. As amusing as all this is, I really should be getting back to work. If you need me... I'll send a bouquet. Of irises? A message. Indeed. The city district... Dear Mr. Starrick, men hired, strike tomorrow. Disraeli's death will stall Corrupt Practices Act indefinitely. Gladstone will be far more pliable. May the father, etc., etc., be. So Starrick's got his finger in politics, has he? I need to enter the Sinopian Club and find out who B is. Tread delicately around Parliament. As if I don't usually. Your indiscretion at the Bank of England caused British currency to nearly collapse. Nearly is the operative word. Speaking of collapses, what of the key you found that unlocks very little? Henry took it for research. I am confident that the vault is ours. Nearly ours, Evie. Nearly.
What has happened? Your brother. What's he done this time? <laughs> the newspapers are all over Tupany's murder. And if that weren't enough, someone has stolen the currency printing plates. Was that also Jacob's doing? I doubt it. Now, no one trusts the bank or England's currency. There, there will be inflation, riots, manufacturing will jump to America for the cheap labor. In short, Britain is done for. Jacob, you've really put your foot in it now. What if I smuggle the plates back into the bank? Well, it would certainly help. Better yet, it would call into question the stories on Tupany's murder, which would restore confidence in the economy. That's settled then. Britain lives to see another day. Oh, and if it's not too much trouble, would you mind destroying any counterfeit notes you come across so they don't circulate? Of course. It really is very good of you to help. Follow me. The counterfeit money is being spent nearby. Well, if you can call it counterfeit, with those printing plates, it's nearly impossible to tell the real notes from the fake ones. Mr. Abelon. If this gets out... Well, I've said this already. When people don't trust their currency, and we're already seeing riot... Mr. Aberline. You two, follow me. I don't wish to be robbed on my way to the cart. When I get you, I'll hang you from Tower Bridge! The counterfeiters. Can't we have five minutes of this? Don't come any closer! Are you closer? running from me? You better! Heard about the rioting at the bank? They can riot all they like. We won't be giving back those plates. What difference does it make? It's not like he has any real cash on him. Since we've got the printing plates, it's Isn't all real cash. Right? Did, you, didn't you? Did you hear those oh, clowns? Oh, Sounds oh, like yeah. all of London is rioting. Nothing to do with us. I can't believe Jacob's managed to shatter the entire economy. Father was right. He acts in haste and repents not at all. as you would the Bank of England in.
Now to sneak these back into the bank.
There. As if they were never taken. Enough. Come on, back out the door with you. Come on, back out the door with you. Well, the London papers are running the story of how it was all a hoax. No more riots. Faith in the bank restored. Finally, I might get a quiet night on patrol. Miss Fry, I can't thank you enough. Glad we've averted catastrophe, Sergeant. Although it's Jacob who should be thanking me. 